Today is concrete pour day. Uh, we got the pump truck here. He's getting set up. We got concrete, first concrete truck showed up about 30 minutes. The guys are putting in the uh, wall hangers, Simpson hangers, cutting the beam pockets. We got our sleeves in. I'll show you that real quick before the concrete truck gets here and we start pouring. Okay, so these guys are putting in the uh, Simpson ICFVL wall hangers. These plates go in before we pour concrete, and then once we pour concrete, they're basically embedded into the wall, and then we screw our uh, rim joist to those plates, and that's how your subfloor hangs on the inside of the wall. They're super strong. And uh, also dead center of that wall, we will cut a beam pocket for the LVL. And that will be what holds up our whole house, our whole floor. Uh, we're about 30 minutes to concrete truck. We have a remote control, so we can run the entire truck remotely, which is cool. If you're not familiar with a concrete pump, the concrete truck comes and feeds the pump truck and the pump truck puts the concrete exactly where you want it. Concrete just showed up, so I think we're about ready to start. Pretty cool. Yeehaw. How fast do we need to go, or like, how slow do we need to go per truck? We'll probably I'll go pull about two blocks at a time. Probably 16. We'll probably pull a little bit, pull a little bit more. We're not going to rush it because we don't want to sit. We have 40 minutes to the truck. We're supposed, oh, okay. to have, we're supposed to have 40 minutes between the trucks. <laughs> so this guy's already 30 minutes late. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, this concrete is mixed specifically for ICF. So it's a 4,000 pound mix. The aggregate or the gravel is like 3 8 inch small pea gravel. Uh, normally it's 3 quarter to 1 inch. Uh, so, but that gravel has to be small enough to fit through that pump. So, uh, and it's got about an 8 inch slump, which uh, makes it viscous enough to get through the pump. And so they're gonna do laps around the uh, the wall on the inside, they'll do about three foot, four, about three feet at a time. They're called lifts. And they go around and they kind of just fill it, just like you would icing on a cake. 
um, you gotta do laps so that the concrete has a chance to consolidate and set. You can't pour it all at once in the same spot or it just blows out the forms. And the most vulnerable places for that are usually in the corners. So you fill it uh, away from the corner and kind of work your way into a corner, usually. That's what they're gonna do. It's gonna take probably three, four, three hours, uh, just because of the temperature, a certain speed that we have to go because of the temperature. And uh, yeah, three hours of pouring concrete. And the pump truck's like $235 an hour. Half, about half yeah, there's a video. Two trucks in, two trucks to go. <laughs> Third truck just left, waiting on the last truck. Hurry up and wait, right? Yep. <laughs> So far so good. Strapped up a little bit there. Fire going. There you go. Well, that seems to be holding up pretty good. <laughs> I said, hell, he's down there playing by the fire. <laughs> playing by the fire. Been some important damn decisions made down here today. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I'm just getting smoked out. <laughs> See, we need you on one of our exciting pours. Where stuff is like, go get this, don't do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we try to avoid those, but we do have them from time to time. <laughs> it is pouring concrete. Especially when you got a bunch of We thought we'd get a bunch of views just being comical. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you get a bunch of a bunch of dummies unload the truck and break in the block and you don't realize they're all busted and cracked. <laughs> Thank you. 
now we're uh, straightening out the walls. Well, there we go, one basement. Went well. That's gonna do it for this video. The pour went well, we didn't have any problems. Uh, no blowouts, everything went, knock on wood, exactly the way we wanted it to do. Thanks to Victor and Brian, Southern Wall Systems. If you got a job that is an ICF job in the Southeast, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, call Brian and Victor at Southern Wall Systems. I'll leave a link to their uh, website down below. They've been doing this for a long time. They've done like 200 jobs and uh, they do it every day. So that's gonna wrap this one up. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. That's it. All right, man, I like it.